the base plate for my top box is failing. You can see here that there are cracks in the steel on all of the mounting points. I'm completely happy with the top box itself, but the mounting plate leaves a bit to be desired. It's just made out of very thin pressed steel. So maybe I could make a new one. How hard can it be? I'd have to make those lugs. I'll reuse these little rubber stoppers and I'd have to make a new latch. Hmm, looks a little bit daunting. Okay, I've got a bit of sheet aluminium left over from a previous job and it's 3 mil. So I think that'll do the job. So I'll just use the old one to trace around and then I can cut out the shape. Fortunately, just a normal tungsten tip blade cuts aluminium quite happily. So I cut it out on the table saw. But it's very messy. Chips go everywhere and the vacuum at the back really only takes a small amount of it. So there's quite a bit of cleaning up after cutting this stuff. Next job is to weld a skirt right round the edge. This will not only make it look better, but it will strengthen it as well. Welding really pours heat into the metal, and of course metal doesn't like to sit still, it likes to warp and bend. So I'm just going around the edge doing small runs on one side and then the other until I've gone right around the edge. And then I can use the flap disc just to dress up the weld. Once I've done the rough job with the flap disc, then I'm using my random, random orbital sander to sand out the scratches that I've put in it. And I start with 120 grit, then 240, and then keep going up to 600 grit. Now for the technical bits. I've got to make that latch. So I measure the old one, write down all the measurements on a very complicated diagram and I'm going to use aluminium to make this latch. I'm cutting out the square latch hole on the scroll saw. The scroll saw is really only for wood but this does the job. At least it does a nice straight square or rectangle anyway. Okay progressing along nicely I've got the latch made and welded on. It looks something like the old one. Amazing. The next job is to make those two little posts that the top box slides into. And because I've now got a lathe, I can make those posts on the lathe out of aluminium. It's amazing how many uses you can find for a tool once you've actually got it. There's something very fascinating and mesmerising about watching metal being peeled off. Then again, maybe I'm just easily pleased. Anyway, that's the first lug done and it's time to part it off. And you can keep your criticism to yourself. I'm just a self-taught backyard tinkerer. So that's good enough for me. So this is how these lugs will fit in. I'll go in the hole and then I'll weld them on the back. Nice and neat. As I made the lugs long enough to protrude through the holes into the back, it's a very simple matter of just welding them underneath where you can't see the weld.
as you can see I decided that 3 mil maybe wasn't quite thick enough so I put another plate underneath to strengthen it even further but because it's aluminium it's still quite light I've measured a dozen times but I'm still not absolutely sure that I've got everything in the right place so this is the time when I decide it either goes in the bin or it's a good one. So we slide the lugs into their slots. Press down on the latch. Ooh, it's latched. Not only that, it's completely rigid. Lovely. So I bought some stainless bolts and washers, drilled the mounting holes and bolted it down to the frame. It looks nice. Yes, I know you're probably saying it should be painted black, but, but painted aluminium scratches very easily. This way, it's going to be maintenance free, even though it does stand out like dog's what's its. It looks fine with the top box on it though. That hides all that shiny blingy. Not a little job done. Gotta love time in the shed.